Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Mark's Tasty Talk. Sorry, I'm um, here, yeah, yes. I have to come down low because my phone is uh, at a funny angle. So we're going to slice up some silver side, as usual. You know you love it. It can be very therapeutic, actually. Um, I've had got all the knives sharpened up, and um, we are ready to rumble. How's it, Huey? Mike? Right, listen, guys, I'm going to tip you so that you can see the, the board. You see me? Let me just chuck some gloves on. And I'll show you what we got this week. I've got two, four, six, eight decent sized roasts. Um, I'm not going to bore you with slicing all eight, but we'll do a good few. There's um, some very nice Angus beef, um, Irish Angus silver side beef, and it's got some lovely yellow fat on it. Let me just show you that before I slice it open. Look at that. Beautiful, but that's how it comes. Nicely vacuum sealed. So, to start with, obviously, I'll open the bag up in the, in the sink. All my bags go into the other side, because I've got two sinks. So, we'll go to the other side. <coughs> nice and cold in my room today as well. Uh, the thermometer says 10 degrees, so nice and cool in here. Change from the summer when it's in the 20s. This does help when I'm slicing meat because it doesn't get so warm. So we are going to put it down this way. Um, let me get some light going. Hang on a second. If I can find the plug. There you go. Is that better? I'm sure it is. So, let's start straight away and just get rid of this manky stuff on the side here. This is all just congealed blood and very soft. Um, fortunately, I've been getting home a little bit earlier from work because of the lockdown. They've allowed me to, to leave a little bit earlier. So I've been getting home by five o'clock this week when the trains are running on time. I've had a couple of delays on a couple of the days, but what the hell. Right. This is the, the silver side, the sinew on the side, which we obviously get rid of. Very chewy. Get rid of 99% of that. Don't mind a little bit of it. Let's be quite pedantic again today, shall we? Get rid of all that soft stuff. On some of these, I will not be so pedantic. Um, so while the, the bottom roast, this bottom section is still on here, I like to trim the edges just easier when it's all in one piece and oh what we haven't got we haven't got any music hold on Alexa play 70s mix from Amazon oh here we go 
bit of nice easy listening. If I have it too loud, they'll mute my video. But what the hell? Life's too short, eh? So I am now separating the bottom round from the top round. Before I actually take that hole off. Alexa, volume seven. Is that volume seven? Still seems pretty high. Alexa, volume five. a little bit lower that's better look at that fat on there nice and yellow beautiful fat and I will be keeping it don't worry I'm not cutting that off at all here we have a bit of a some sinew on the side here so that is going gone I'm gonna leave this bit of fat there and on the top here I think what I'll do probably just take off the really loose stuff at the bottom what I call the skirt don't want to take too much off this roast actually because I want the fat I have got quite a lot of fatty in stock but when I get such nice fat like this I don't want to lose it so let's turn this around because I like it and let's get the big blade out I like that piece towards me, so let's just even this up. Now that is just a chunk of fat on there now. If it's got a bit of yammer on it, it goes in the tub. I've sharpened up the knives. I actually switched all the blades on my sharpeners over so they're on the new side. But that is really nice piece of built on. Look at that. That's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'm doing now, obviously, is just making this nice and square on one side. Might turn this now, get the bottom off, get a couple of lean pieces out of it. See this particular roast has some nice marbling in there as well. Excuse the rattly fans in the background. That's my freezer and my fridge. Both have rattly condenser fans. I need to actually order new ones just to replace them. Mm, something my dad always told me, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And it isn't broke, so I'm not fixing it right now. So, nice even strokes. Obviously, press onto the side of the roast. See when that fat starts moving, that's the loose stuff on there. That's the stuff I usually cut off. So, Try not to slice my fingers off. These aren't hell of a wide pieces, but these are going to be absolutely delicious. Got a couple of orders for some nice fatty biltong for after this weekend. So if you are watching and you have ordered nice and fatty, this is what you will get. Look at that beautiful just the right consistency of fat it might be a bit much on that one but do you know what that's great it's very very good i think what i'm going to do today is separate any of the lean and this is all really got fat in it even the meat itself has fat in it So all I do is create that little flat bottom, anything really loose. 
I'll just snip off. Nice sharp knife. Solid strokes all the way through. Going a little bit soft there, but it's fine. Then just separate each piece as you go. See that? A bit of a bit of Angus hair on. I'm very good at spotting such little heads. Very good. That is some beautiful beef. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure if Clint is watching, Mr. Charlton, <laughs> you would love that. That's a very, very tasty. And that is roast number one down ready. We got another one of those. Actually, I think I've got four of these, so let's do them today. This is the um, Aberdeen Angus. Wow, I say Aberdeen Angus, it's Angus. Again, we're just rinsing off the bit of blood, the knife. I just really do give it a quick rinse just to get any blood off. And then let's use the big knife here and just what I haven't used is my trimmer. Shall we try it again? Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we? Let's cut a little lip there. Where is it? So the idea is you put that in there, you grab that bit. You do a sawing motion. See, it's just not doing it for me. See, I, maybe I pulled too fast upwards. I prefer my filleting knife. It's a lot quicker. And you can go straight down the side. And I can take that whole sinew off in literally three seconds. I wasted my money with that uh, fat trimmer. Honestly did. I need to. I've got some new blades for it, so what I would do is um, give it a clean, put new blades on it and sell it as new. Okay, I'm not doing what I did on the last one. I'm actually separating this straight away. Let's take that bit of sinew off the top there. Here we've got a lot of loose skin. Use the skin to your advantage. Pull it up when you're cutting. It does help. Oh, took a bit of nyama off with that one. So let's go. Got a bit off there. And that bit off there. I'm going to leave that, it's nice fat on there, it's a bit of a, that'll dry. A little bit of sinew here on the side, I'm just taking that off. Right, let's move that piece to the side. Some sinew on the inside face of this, could be the outside face, who knows. I'm just going to trim this bit of fat off. See, that's probably where that trimmer would work. And let's flick it over. Show you, here's where I say the skirt is. See how loose that skin is. So, it's very loose. It doesn't cut easily. I don't think it tastes too bad. 
but again once you've got it in the mixer the meat and stuff when I'm mixing oh that's nice fat I don't want to mess with that a little bit more loose stuff here but you can take the top layer off there's a bit of a flap here I don't want the flap so that's all good let's move that knife out of the way I'm gonna move onto my black knife Let's just take that piece of sinew there. So all I'm doing here is gonna straighten this up. Whoa, this, this blade is extra sharp. Almost going all the way through there. So now we've got that edge nice and flat, turn it onto its side, let's create our flat platform. I feel like I'm hitting a bit of sinew there or something. You can feel it when you cut through it. There's a little line of sinew there. See it? It's fine when that's sliced, you won't even know it. You won't even know it. Right, let's turn this over. Now we've got our nice flat piece. Now we just cut through that. Look how that's just falling over. It's like a hot knife through butter. This is very, very tender, but it does also help to have a very sharp knife. I hate a blunt knife. In the same sense, you've got to be very careful because one slip and you will cut your finger. I've done it many a time. Maybe years ago, maybe even months ago, but fortunately I haven't for quite some time. Every now and again, I sort of prick my finger or something and I've got to put double, double glove it. That one almost went all the way through. Now look at that, isn't that beautiful, absolutely amazing, it's beautiful, beautiful. Right, this piece now, because we've got such an angle here, I'm going to just create that flat bottom. Doesn't matter how wide your built on is going to be. It's a good couple of inches thick, so it's fine. Now, I am, and I do, I've said this before, I change the thickness of my slices purely because some people want dry, some people want wet or medium, and that just changes it. That last piece will be a bit of a wet piece because it's quite thick. There's a medium, there's a medium. These are gonna be dry pieces because they're quite thin. 10 mils, 15 mils, most 10 mil. But there's some really good fat on there. That is roast number two done already. Don't know if anybody's timing me, but I'd say it's pretty quick. All right, I've got a big one. Oh, that's what she said. Right, must be good. Uh, come on. Was <coughs> fighting me. Doesn't want to come out of the packet. Right, quick red. start with the bottom so I'll show you from the other side now we take that bit off let's use the um, filleting knife 
So the idea is to get just under the skin, try not to take too much meat, and you are literally taking a sliver off. I will turn this around in a second because I don't like cutting so close to my body. Let's just do this bit here. Some really loose stuff there. It's going, going, gone. So let's turn that around so that I can cut away from myself. Wait, get back in the ball. So, yeah, a bit of a late start this morning, but that's fine. I was waiting for someone coming to look at a, my canopy on my truck, so I was selling it, and he hasn't turned up, so very, very rude. I find it more and more common now where people don't even have the courtesy to say look I can't make it or I found someone found it somewhere else it's just rude very very rude there's no excuse for not letting somebody know so someone else sliced this and they didn't follow the correct seam but that's okay Let's just get that bit off there. Bit of a lump of fat there. Get him off. This is Pink Floyd, isn't it? I think. Something like that. Quite possibly. Right. Oh, that's, yeah, stuff it. It's going to go in the built on pile. It's a little piece, but you know what? We don't waste. I've got enough wastage as it is. Jeez, that fan sounds terrible. I really do need to get it repaired. Not so much repaired, but replaced even. I think I'll just order one on the internet and do it myself. My trade is refrigeration. I want to try something. Here's our little tool. So here we've got some fat. See if you... See that actually works with the hard fat. It does take it off. And I think it's also the angle and using I'm trying to do this piece on the side but that's not going to work let's um, use my knife shall we take seconds with the knife right flicker over got a bit of a flap here take it off skirt at the bottom like I said, always a little bit sloppy skin here, comes off easy, easy. This one hasn't got the best fat, but it's still got some nice fat here and here. It's the hard stuff I want, not the soft stuff. There's a little bit of soft there. I'm not going to go crazy on this one. Let's take that bit off. Look, that's how you're supposed to take it off with the most minimum amount of meat you can possibly do. You can only do that with a very thin, flexible blade. So, this one now, let's try something different, shall we? Instead of doing it like I did the other one, let's just go straight in, nice thick pieces. Straight down. If 
you have to seesaw your way down, do that. Everybody's got a different way of slicing. This very wide pieces now, so. Oh, look at that, nice steak. <laughs> this piece on the end here is just too thick, so taking that off as well. Let's start this side and just follow it through. All you do is push your hand in, separate, try not to create too many folds or feathered edges. That is, that is all of them. There's some lovely beef there, look at that. Some marbling in this as well. Beautiful marbling in there. A very unhealthy cow. <laughs> high cholesterol. It's a high cholesterol cow. Mombe. Right, this one, again, I think just some minimum trimming on this. I'm, I'm willing to leave that, it's not bad at all. Let's slice right down the bottom to create our bottom, our flat edge. I'll just do a couple of flat bottom. So we have some wider pieces. I've also got 50 kilos of dry horse sitting in the fridge been since last night. It's ready to go in when I hang meat this evening. So this is all going to get sliced and spiced now. And we'll get hung later. So with this piece now, it might be a bit too thick, but it's not quite thick enough to slice through again. I'll show you what I do with that in a minute. That's all through. Fairly lean that lot. This one. I might just make some nice thin pieces here. Cut that into three. That's okay, just like that. Tasty, tasty, tasty. If you've got any bits of fat on your board, knife, scrape, and in. Done. Right, we got one more of those. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take one of my I Love Man ones, and we're gonna do one of those. And you can see the difference in right. This will all be labeled under one batch. This is actually batch number 99, if I'm correct. Uh, since the beginning of last year, and 100 batches. So, uh, again, we're upside down. Look at that bottom. Ugh. Be a lot of trimming off this, because none of this is good. So, trying to get under that skin, I do want a load of lean, so these Isle of Man roasts will become my lean roasts. So it is imperative that I cut all of the fat off in all this soft skin stuff. If you want to keep some of the fat, you can cut it off separately. As long as I cut it off with a bit of meat, it'll be fine.
So let's turn that around. Now you can see on this side. Try not to go too fast. It's when you make mistakes. So we've got a bit of sinew here. I want it gone. Again, going right underneath that and under. Use the sinew. As you see, I've taken a little bit of thing off, but you can see how stringy that is. Sinew is not very nice. And I would say in the medical world, that's probably the sinew or tendons between the muscles. And they are, of course, tough for a reason. So, very carefully skinning my way through this bottom roast. Just before I get to the bottom, I will take off the membrane in between. This is nice and lean. You can see the very difference in the meat. It's a little bit darker, but that's okay. It's just the beef. So, all the way through. And let's put that on the side. A little bit of a flap there, take it off. If you've got a flap, take it off. So, a bit of sinew there, gone. Right, let's flick this over. Now you can see, there's not a lot of fat on this at all. So it's all coming off. It's very thin stuff. Sometimes I use the bigger knife just because it's a little stiffer and it's just a shot and I can go further with it. <laughs> what you do to me. <laughs> Somebody I know whose favorite song this is. Thinking of you, Shane, brother. Let's use our, um, I don't think he ever watches my videos actually. Well, I don't know if he does. Maybe he does. Who knows? Oh, taking a bit of meat with that. Don't. I'm being quite pedantic with this because I do want the lean, so I'm taking all the fat off. Every bit of thin skin. I can leave that because that's really another part of that muscle there. Right, let's get this straightened up now. I want another tub. Put this other tub on the side. <clears throat> it's all mostly thin, so let's um Straighten this bit off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, a bit of odd shapes those, but they're fine. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, if no fat is your game, this is your meat 
<laughs> it is a little bit of fat in there, but that's nothing. Look at that, beautiful. Whoa, bit cook, eh? I'm going squonk. I love that word. Squonk. Skew and wonky all in one. It's quite a funny word. Some of you are saying it right now. Squonk. So. The hell music is this now? Uh. Right. You can see this has been a very nice lean roast. Trying to keep this all separate now from the other fatty. Because I want some lean. I intend on making a load of chili bites as well. Maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. Because I'm not going to have space in my machine for all the meat today. So I won't be doing all the dry horse and I won't be doing. See, that's got some nice fat on there. So what I might do actually is lay that on the floor on the bench and just run my blade in so it does that and cut some fatty strips of this and be fatty it's got fat on it that looks good See, this has warmed up already. It's already getting soft. No good to me. Come on. As you um, cut and create that flat edge, you can turn it. Nicely, all the way through. Push the fold of this me over done deal now how's that Bob's your auntie so we are halfway we got a whole three viewers how do you do how's it Eric uh, Jillian and Dina <laughs> Dina 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 how do you say your name Dino or Dana? One of the two. Right. Um, blah, 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 blah. We are done now. For now. I need to weigh all this up. I'm halfway through now. What I'll do is weigh this up and get it in the fridge. Obviously, I do like 10 kilo batches. So, And then I'm going to carry on and just finish up. And then possibly hang a load of this dry horse up this afternoon. Um, and I've still got all the spicing to do as well, so I'll get on it. Alright guys, well have a good weekend. Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Stay safe and have a fantastic week ahead. We've got our tier system coming in, so uh, good luck to those who are in tier 3. Uh, it's going to be hard just to keep sane. Um, I've been very fortunate that I've been able to keep my job and have my normal hours and be paid normally so I'm very grateful um, and I'm very grateful to all of my customers <laughs> and the longer I talk the more customers I lose uh, I've got one person still watching who knows right cheers guys keep safe eh? bye